Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna look at another Raquel Welch tried and true workhorse. Her name is Trendsetter and this is her. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. So today we're going to be looking at a Raquel Welch wig by the name of Trendsetter. This is her. She is a very popular, very popular wig. Very similarly, Noriko has um, their representation of this. Godiva Secret has their representation. John Renault has his representation. And of course, everybody else does too. So we're going to take a look at Raquel's representation of this shaggy, long shaggy kind of a look. We're going to look at her in the color Glazed Hazelnut R829S+. So here's all of her numbers and we're going to get her out of the box and look at her, okay? So this girl is so popular that she is available in two wig cap styles from Raquel Welch. This particular wig is just open wefted everywhere very nice and breathable um a, just a standard front it's a very nice standard front very deep soft velveteen but we have open wefts on the top and then a little bit of um, permatease on the crown area um she the other version that she's available in is a lace front mono top so if you don't like the presence of volume represented by the permatease on this young lady, then within well, a Raquel Welch line, you can go ahead and get the lace front mono top, which will simmer that, that volume down. We also have open ear tabs on the right and left with fibers stitched on the underside. There are metal stays in there and they are significantly large, long, look at that. That's how long those, those metal stays are on those sides. We have an extended nape. It's an open nape. And it also, let me see, does it have stays? Yes, it has stays in the back on that nape. How nice is that? Right here, two stays. And then they also have the adjusters on the right and left. Lots and lots of stretchability. Um, good coverage with narrow rows of curtains, hair curtains. And on this particular young lady, she's got the memory cap. So it's a really nice, really nice uh, feature. Okay, and this color, glazed hazelnut, was the same color that she was, the, she was wearing <laughs> in her picture right here. So this is the color that I have represented here. Now, if you've never seen glazed hazelnut by Raquel Welch, it is a very, very impressive color, very beautiful. Highlights with copper and gold and a little bit of auburn in there. I don't know if you can see some of that, but this is just beautiful. Very, very nice. It, this particular one has a darker root, but this is part of her Vibrolite collection. It's not heat friendly. It's just her synthetic um, fibers that she has here. Now they will respond to the hot air brush that we always, you always see me use. And, um, but she doesn't really need a whole lot of styling. She's got that little flippiness, uh, a, a bang in the front and razor cut edges all along the side. Just, oh my gosh. Look, she's going to look great. So we'll see what her version of this particular style is going to be. A little bit longer in the back. And um, we'll also look up her dimensions when we put her on. All righty? But before I do, what I have on today is Jacqueline Smith's Timeless with a cute little headband I got on. I love this, this little short bob. She's just one of my faves. All righty? Let's take a look at Trendsetter by Raquel Welch. Okay, up at the hairline, ear tabs even. Oh, look at her. Okay, so she is already looking great. I do want to bring a little bit of these side fibers down onto my face to cover a little bit of my hairline. The bangs can be brought down a little bit more to make them a little more full. See how that is? And then the back is already, they're already, they started that party without me. 
<laughs> anyway, so we can just kind of take these little fibers and finger comb them so that they they emphasize the highlights. Isn't this gorgeous? This color, it's it's not red. It's not just a, a brown color. It is such a dynamic mix of highlights and lowlights. It's a beautiful color. It is on the warm side. So I would say that the color tone is not cool, ashy. It is definitely warm. But let's take a look, see how long, how long she is down on my neck. And of course, we're gonna look at those measurements together. Like the front is four and three quarters. The crown is four and three quarters. The sides are three and a half or three and a quarter. The back is three and a quarter. The nape is four inches. That's why it's so long, it's four inches. But if you like a little bit more length on your shaggy girls, um, you know, this, this would be a great one, four inches. That's quite a bit. But she also has lots of, of uh, flip back here too, doesn't she? So, oh my goodness, she's cute. Okay, so she automatically wanted to part on my left, which is what the photograph shows. It shows her parting on the left. But if I pull a little bit more over from a more extreme part, you see what happens? I get a little more lift in the center, like I have a little bit more volume. If you like volume, if you don't care for volume, let's see how, how much we can pat her down. We can make this stay close to the face and emphasize some of those razor cuts. We can just kind of use our fingernails to rake through some of that volume and the permatease on top. Let's see. And again, if you are interested in looking at or, or purchasing the uh, Trendsetter Elite with the lace front and the mono top, this is going to definitely be flatter. So we could kind of see what that would look like, but you don't have to have spend that extra cost for the lace front and mono part to get it to look a little flatter on top. So already I've got a little bit less and taking your fingers and raking through some of that permatease on top, or you can take your brush and even do the same, just kind of rake through to flatten out some of that permatease and then just lift a tiny bit of it so that it doesn't look wiggy by being flat, okay? So we're going to slim her down a little bit and that even emphasizes the flip here. Can you see that? How does that look now? Oh, this is a very nice wig. And you know, if you've been following my, my reviews on Raquel Welch, remember we did Winner, then we did Sparkle, then we did Voltage, and now I'm doing Trendsetter. And all of these four la young ladies have a very similar hairstyle or a haircut, but they're in increasing lengths. So if you did them in order, you, or you could actually own them in order in the same color, and you could probably wear them um, consecutively after each other, and it would just look like you're growing your hair in that respect. So it's kind of like, like well, maybe one of those uh, wig wardrobes, you know, that people talk about. Okay, so you can see the razor cut edges. We can cover a little bit of your ear. You don't have to if you don't want to, but just enough to where you can just emphasize your real pretty earrings. Um, the bangs, okay, let's take a look at this. Now, it's not a lace front, but look at how those hairs come off the wig cap. It's done in such a manner that it's very, very natural looking. It does not look like it's um, a regular cap. It's What happens is the cap comes down to a point and the hair fibers are stitched so that they're pointing out from that point. So you look like you've got hair fibers coming from underneath or really close and it's not a big bulky wig cap border. That's what makes this this line a really nice, nice feature, or at least this feature really nice. 
<laughs> okay, so she's ready to go no matter what. Right now, she would be a great wig to take on a trip. You can just shake her up and pull her back or, or fluff her up. Let's see. Let's bring her all forward and see what happens with this, okay? Now, you can tell those bangs are getting a little thicker. Yeah, just by bringing them forward. So, you know, essentially what we're looking at is if the wind got you out there in a windstorm, how would that look? You know, your hair's going to go any which way. So this is coming mostly forward with a heavier bang and everything around the face. Okay, so that's one way we can we can style her. Let's pull this over my ears. Okay, oh, and we'll look at the coverage too. So she has a little bit of a... a uh, I don't want to call it a shelf, but her her uh, sides are trimmed just a bit right here to be level with the ear. Or maybe for some of you who have a more petite face, it might come down to your jawline. Um, but, you know, okay, this, this tames her down quite a bit. All right. Let's, uh, let's take her all the way back. Let's see what happens when we take and raise up, <laughs> raise the roof. <laughs> Oh, well, you can definitely see the highlights, can't you? And let's look at this side burn area coverage. So you can see that, you know, here's my bio hair and my, and my side burn area. I get pretty good coverage on this young lady. Um, traditionally, Raquel Welch wig caps fit me a little looser and a little bit better coverage. And then, of course, with the memory cap, it makes it really, really interesting to, to be able to have that feature and benefit from um, the comfort that it provides. So, okay. So having her go straight back really creates a lot of volume. Probably a little more than what I might want to wear. Okay. And this, so we started out with parting it on the, the left. And of course, the dark roots always disguise any kind of wig cap. So I'm just, I'm just having fun with her, you know? She is kind of just what she is. And there's, um, you know, aside from increasing volume, you know, and, and making a, a silhouette. Can you see my silhouette over here a little bit? Yeah. Having a little bit more of a flip. We've got a little bit more length back there that we can do that with, right? Flip or not, you can bring it down and have it... Let's take her, and of course, I could treat my sideburns and have that just to come all the way down with a long fringe. How's that look? That looks very sweet, and you know, having it very high and sleeked on the side, that looks really nice, especially if I were to treat my sideburn area. But having this come up really high and extreme makes for a really, like a, a very classy, dressy kind of a look, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'll do a trim or a trim and a spin. A trim and a spin. <laughs> anyway, but having that simmered down, not quite so flippy, and having those razor cut edges come down onto the neck looks very, very chic, doesn't it? But you can see what, what kind of versatility we get with this young lady, don't we? Let's see what happens when we add a little bit of water to this girl, okay? But I think she's a great little wig. Oh my goodness, very fun. All right, so we're going to get a lot more emphasis on the highlights and low lights in this young lady when we add water. Of course, you can use water to help train her so that if you want to have her curve under a little bit more, then you can use the water, the extra water to, to mold her into place. But I do like having her be a little spiky. You can finish her up with some, some gel um, to make that stay all PC. You could use um, hairspray. Make sure you use a hairspray made for synthetic wigs. So get it on your, get hairspray on your fingers and then piece it out like this. Let's see what we got with a little more bang. Just bring those bangs down a little and leave the rest of it going back. Oh, what fun. And of course, we want to leave a little party in the back, right? Right. 
Okay, let's try the headband that I was wearing at the beginning of this video. Okay, so this is my wire headband. Take it, we can take it completely underneath, bring it up on the sides, and then on top, decide where I want it, cross the ends, the tails of them, and just, yeah, there, okay? Very easy and okay, so I'm gonna put it off to the side a little bit and maybe lift those tails a little bit so that it looks like a, like a bow. So that's kind of cute, isn't it? And you can put it so that the bow is underneath and kind of hidden too. So, how's that look? She's a great wig, isn't she? Okay, so this is Raquel's Trendsetter um, in the color Glazed Hazelnut. R829S Plus. So, I'll put the link where you can find her or you can contact me at cocoshairsolutions at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope you've had fun. Have a great week and we will see you next time on Cocos Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.